Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm here, I'm talking with Stephen from Vancouver in Canada. And he has just given me some great information about me explaining what his spirit guide was a few weeks ago. So Steve, thank you so much today to agree to be on my show. And, and please explain to people in your ideas or your perception, what has occurred? Take it away, well, Steve. Linda, Linda, right away when you, when you identified Mike's uh, spirit guide, I didn't even have to look it up. I recognized the feeling right away and it, it completely resonated with me. It resonated too with many feelings I've had as an aspect of myself throughout my years that for various reasons or another, I somewhat uh, buried or didn't talk about, et cetera, and just thought as, as sometimes an idiosyncrasy of myself. But once you identified that and so on uh, as what it was, I recognized that, no, this makes complete sense as an aspect of my personality that maybe sometimes I hid. But now, ever since that, I... I fully recognize and acknowledge that feeling when I can and I go to it and I appreciate it and it's paying off. So basically, just so people watching today, have you and I ever met before? Uh, no, I've never been to Australia before. And I've never been to Canada. So there's no, there you go. there's no hint here of, you know, like a lot of people do ask me, how do you see spirit guides? So I don't want you to, if you want to, please let people know what your spirit guide is but it is private. It is between you and your spirit guide. So actually just talk about how I told you what your spirit guide was. So if anyone else wanted to connect with their spirit guide, how did I do it for you? Uh, how did you do it for me? I, I asked you what it was and said, and you said, oh, he's right here. And you told me what it was. And in my case, it was, it was a hawk. And that, that, I completely felt that connection right away. It wasn't just an idea. It wasn't an intellectual thing. It wasn't some cartoon that I imagined. I went, I felt the feeling and I felt the look through his eyes. And, and I recognized that and it felt right, right away. Wow. Thank you so much for that. And another question that I do have, did you have, I usually say to people, go and research what, like in your case, a hawk would represent. Did you actually do that? No, I didn't have to because I, the feeling, I identified with the feeling right away. I, I didn't need to find out anymore. I, I took that feeling within me that, and I just, now I embrace it. Wow. That's it. So, I, I, don't, I don't need to see anything else. I can feel it. So how has that changed your life now that you know that you've got a hawk as a spirit guide? Has it changed you it, at it all? Adds to, yes, it's enhanced my uh, my confidence in in myself and the feelings that I feel, whether they are, it's hard for me as a person to distinguish whether it's just a thought in my head or something that's subconsciously programmed or a wish, or is it some thing from spirit? I don't know those things mm. exactly all the time. Regardless, it's helped me to give a personification or an identification to that feeling and that, that overviewing aspect within me and to appreciate it and speak to it and to work with it and to trust it. Wow, Steve. Those are so powerful words that you just said, trusting what we can't see and believing in something that we can't see. And I love how you just said working with it. That is Absolutely. so powerful. Thank you so much for saying that. So if there were some people out there thinking, wow, I need a bit of direction, I don't know what my spirit guide is, what would you say today? to those people who were thinking about contacting me and seeing what their spirit guide was? I would say contact Linda and ask her what your spirit guide is. Thank you so much. So on that, anything else that you wish to say before I stop the recording? Not right now. That's what we Beautiful. want to talk about.
Thank you so much, Steve. I'll just stop the recording now. So, guys, if you do want to see what your spirit guide is, please contact me. My email is below in the description. Thank you all. Bye.